Welcome to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosy UK. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the beautiful crocheted cabled stitch. Now this stitch is a beautiful introduction into crossing stitches and creating such beautiful texture that's not too bulky as well. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course the notification bell so you never miss out another one of my crochet tutorials or free patterns again. If you'd like to see the written instructions for this um, stitch you can do just click the link in the description below and you'll be taken straight to my blog where you can see more about the um, yarns that I use and of course my beautiful crochet hooks too. So let's grab the materials we need and get started. So the materials that we're going to need to complete this cable tutorial is any yarn and corresponding hook size. So I'm using my paint box Simply Aran which needs a five millimeter crochet hook so I have my favorite here. Now this is shade pistachio, in case you're interested. It is my favorite um, color, unfortunately. I have it even in my house now. I've painted, somehow managed to paint my one of my rooms in pistachio green without even noticing. So the stitch multiple for the cable stitch. Each cable needs four stitches, and then we're gonna have one either end, um, one double crochet in the US terms or treble crochet in UK terms. So we're gonna do multiples of four plus two stitches, so when that gives us plus two and we need extra one for our turning for the foundation. So we're going to do very simply a chain of, oh, can I do maths quickly enough? Chain of 23 and then we're going to work row one. So make a chain of 23 and I'll see you in a moment. So once we have our chain of 23, that's going to be divisible, well, 20 is divisible by four. They're going to give us five cables, and then we've got two stitches and the one for our foundation. It's up to you which way you work into your foundation chain. If this is going to be the edge of a project and you're not put a, putting a border on, I would always recommend working into your back loops. Otherwise, you can be as lazy as me and work into the top loops of our chain. So for row one, we're going to work one single crochet in US terms or double crochet in UK terms into each chain across. We ignore that first chain and we're just going to work one single crochet into each chain across. So you should have at the end of row one a stitch count. If you don't drop them like me, you'll have a stitch count of 22. So work all the way across and I will meet you at the end of row one, ready to do our cabling. So at the end of row one, you should have 22 stitches. Going into row three, oh my goodness, row two, get ahead of myself. We're just gonna make a chain of three, turning chain of three. Now this does count as a double crochet or a US, a UK treble crochet. So we don't need to work underneath our chain. We're going to start the cabling by skipping that first stitch after the stitch we don't work into. So we're going to skip that one and then work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And how we get the cross is we work into that stitch that we skipped. So we yarn over as if to do a normal double crochet, but we reach our hook back, insert our hook into the stitch that we skipped. We yarn over and very, I've loosened my tension on my yarn there because we're gonna bring this loop all the way up to the same height as our stitches. We're then gonna yarn over and just pull through those first two loops and then yarn over, pull through the last two loops to complete that stitch. And that's how you cable. So we have to be careful that we don't work into this stitch here because as you can see there is a stitch already in it. So ignoring that one we work over the next four stitches again. So we skip the first one, yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch and we work those three treble or three double crochets, treble crochet in the UK terms, And we simply yarn over, working back into that skipped stitch. 
So I kind of put my thumb where I'm going to be inserting my hook, loosen my tension on my working yarn, bring that loop up to the same height as my stitches, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we're going to repeat that again. So we can't work into that stitch, there is already a stitch in there. So we're going to skip that one, going to yarn over, insert the hook, working those three treble crochet, oh, sorry, three double crochets, joys of being bilingual, I guess, across those next three stitches, ready to do our cable. So there's our skip stitch, yarn over, insert our hook, going to bring a loop up. Have I done that right? No, I have not. Sorry, my yarn, my work flipped. So yarn over. There we go. Keep it in front of your work. Insert, draw that loop up nice and tall. So it's in line. Yarn over, pull through two. And I just kind of stretch it out and make sure that it fits across yarn over, pull through those last two loops. So remember we've already worked into that stitch there. So we skip this one, work three double crochets. So once we've worked those three double crochets, we're going to work into that skip stitch. So we yarn over out of the way. <laughs> Bring that loop back through and nice and tall. Pull through those first two loops. Check that you're happy with your cable. Yarn over, pull through two. Ignore that one. We're going to work, skip that one and work into this one. So we do three double crochets across the next three stitches. Ready to work that last cable into that skip stitch. Nice and tall. Pull through those two and pull through two got one stitch remaining and we're just going to work one one double crochet into that last single crochet from the previous round and that is row two completed I literally am in love with this stitch so row three is fabulous and simple we're simply going to chain one that does not count as a stitch and we're going to work one single crochet into the top of each stitch across so we should still have a stitch count at the end of row three of 22. So if you work one single crochet or double crochet in UK terms into each stitch across, I'll meet you at the end of round th row three, ready to repeat our cabling. I just need to make sure that at the end of row three, you are working into the top of your turning chain from the previous row to work that last 20 second stitch. So going into row four, we simply repeat the cable row again. So we chain three, which is our turning chain. We don't work into that stitch there. And we're just gonna repeat. So we don't, we skip one stitch and then we double crochet into the next three stitches. And then we simply work back into that skip stitch. So we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over to draw up that loop. Oops, pull through two, not three. And pull through two. So we ignore that stitch because it has already been worked into. So we skip that one, work into that one, yarning over and doing our three double crochets. So 
going to work back into that skip stitch nice and loosely with that yarn bring that loop up yarn over pull through the first two loops pull through two ignore it it has been worked into so we skip work into that next one along And then we work back into that stitch that we missed. Sorry if you can hear the church bells. It's Sunday morning as I'm recording this and we have a very unique organ that plays church bells. And they've just started on the hymns. So pull through those first two. Oh, I've split my yarn here, hang on. There we go, that took a bit of effort. And pull through those last two. So as you can see that the cables are stacked up on top of each other, leaving a nice, slightly airy fabric. It's not as airy as it looks when you've finished and everything is joined. So we don't work into that one that's already got a stitch in. We skip the next one, we yarn over, do our three treble crochets. Wonderful. Work back, so we yarn over, work into that skip stitch, pull the loop up, pull through two, pull through two, ignore, skip, work. All the way along, it's the same. And we work back into that skip stitch. Might have been a bit tight because I don't have much tension. No, it's fine. And then we just work one double crochet into that last remaining stitch to complete row four. And that is how you do the cable stitch. So after you've done your cable, you do one row of single crochets. So you chain one and single crochet into each stitch across. And then you go back to your cabling. And you can just keep repeating that for as long as you would like. As a little reminder, the stitch multiple was four. Um, so for you just, if you measure your gauge um, and you wanted to do a blanket, you could measure a 36 inch chain, make sure that it's divisible by four, and then you need two more and one more chain for the foundation chain as well. Don't forget, you can head on over to the link in the description to see the photo tutorial and some pattern suggestions for using this cable stitch. It's fast becoming one of my favourites. I love the texture. I'm going to see if I can grab, I've just finished a cabled and crossed cardigan, that's actually the name of the pattern, because I'm not very inventive with pattern names. And you can see what it looks like worked up in a self-striping or a variegated yarn. Just remember to work that last into that third chain of your turning chain. Pop that there, let me grab you. I worked this cardigan in the cable stitch as you can see, but I used a variegated yarn and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I might have to do a blanket in this as well, I think. I just absolutely love it. Um, and it just, it show the texture shows in both a variegated yarn and it also shows in a plain yarn, and that's why I love this stitch. It creates a lovely texture, but it's not too bulky. There's no real bulk to that fabric at all. Um, and I just simply love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this crochet tutorial. Um, and of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, of course. Um, and I will see you again shortly for another crochet tutorial.